They were, and this morning you, neighbors told us they could actually hear the sound of those coyotes yelping right in their neighborhood. Now it's a sound they never thought they'd hear here in Winter Park. However, it's now one that raises eyebrows and a lot of concerns because just a few days ago, a family's dog was attacked and eaten by these same coyotes. He's a little dog. I mean, he's not gonna. He goes to the bathroom, comes back in. We're not worried about coyotes in the first place. But now coyotes are all Chris Sullivan can worry about because Monday their family dog Wally escaped through a crack in their backyard, wandered just feet away from the family's home, and was attacked and killed by coyotes. Pretty devastating. I, I can't even describe it. Distraught, Sullivan called Florida Fish and Wildlife, the city of Winter Park, and Animal Control, who all said there isn't anything they can do or will do about it unless the coyote poses a direct threat to human safety. I know that he thought he was probably defending his backyard, and the proximity of, of creatures that can do that much danger to a one and a three-year-old at our house, that's really, really frightening. So it turned quickly from shock, anger to, to fear. With his dog Wally losing his life just a few steps away from his backyard, Sullivan's now concerned the coyotes are going to be able to slip inside this hole in his fence or be able to jump the fence, getting inside his backyard yeah. one step closer to his two young children. As sad as this is, I, I, I can't just live with the threat overhanging my young children. According to the FWC, homeowners have few options when handling coyotes. You can hire a sanctioned trapper who will kill them or relocate them to an agreed location within your county, or you can shoot them yourself on your property if you're legally licensed and able to in your city. Sullivan can't hire a trapper because the attack wasn't on his property, and he doesn't want the coyotes killed, but thinks there has to be a way to let the community know that coyotes are in the area and can and will attack your pet. Here, here we're just looking to not be helpless and not to be afraid to take our little children out. And we reported on a big spike in coyote sightings back in 2014. However, the FWC told us that throughout the year, they've only had about three calls here in the Winter Park area since the beginning of the year. They said if anyone feels threatened by a coyote, if it walks up to you and isn't afraid of humans, then you need to call their wildlife hotline. That's at 888 Four zero four three nine two two. For now, we're reporting live in Winter Park. Bailey Myers, News 13.